things that I think back to on that game that, that were very um, encouraging, and one of which was uh, the way our fans got behind our team as we started uh, to try to mount that comeback there in the second half. So uh, just a big thank you to the greatest fans in the country. Thank you guys for being there, and we're going to need you there all the time. I appreciate that. I know our guys do too. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to just say before we get started, i got to take my hat off again to Coach Stigelmeyer and his staff. They did a tremendous job getting the team prepared to come in here and play against us. I said before, they're a really good football team. I'll take my hat off to them. Uh, he had a team ready to play, you know, and they, they came in here to an environment that was, uh, it was fairly warm Saturday, and I didn't see their team be affected by that, which you had to think going into the game that that was something that might be playing into your favor. But he had them, he had them ready to go, and those kids didn't seem to be affected by that. So my hat's off to him. I think they'll have a great season this year as a result, without a doubt. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take some questions. Um, third quarterback is not only good, it's really big, and you guys are kind of small on defense. Is that a concern? Uh, they, he is a big dude. He's 6'7", 230 pounds. And uh, yeah, he's he's a talented guy. He he can sling it, but he can also run it. <laughs> he's done as much damage with his feet as he has uh, throwing the ball. And that that's the thing that you got to be concerned about with these guys. And they're very multiple. And Justin Fuente is uh, a guy that I've known for a long, long time. Uh, it is absolutely no <coughs> surprise to me that he has been as successful as he's been uh, as as a head coach at the Division One level. I mean, a lot of people probably remember his time with Andy Dalton back at TCU and what they did taking that TCU team to an Orange Bowl. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you this, I mean, I was the one standing in line trying to steal what he was doing schematically because he's a brilliant, brilliant offensive mind. I uh, learned a lot from that guy. Uh, knew he was going to be successful because of the way he handled kids, just getting annoying. Uh, and and they, they've been really, really good. But, uh, man, he's got some good players there. He's done a great job of recruiting. And uh, that quarterback is uh, not the least of which. He is a talented guy. He makes them go offensively. But he's got some guys around him, too, that – Really, really helped him. So Justin's done a really good job with that football team. How did you develop a relationship with Justin? You know, like like a lot of us, uh, you know, our, our profession, we, we cross paths when we're out on the road recruiting. So, uh, you know, Kenny and I, Kenny Perry and I know uh, a lot of those guys from the time that they were coming through recruiting our schools way back in the day when they were at other schools. Oh, wow. So I've known him for a long, long time. Um, He's also a very, very dear friend of a friend of mine named Rajiv Hussain, and you know we've kind of connected through him for a long, a long time. Just had mutual respect and got known on the road. Tempo this week was one of the best in the country, uh, but can it be better? Is it going to be better? Or are you guys where you at with tempo? Or I guess yeah, it, it absolutely can be better. Uh, I think the key for us is making sure that we that we control the tempo. And what I mean by that is uh, just going one tempo fast, I don't know that that's always the answer. Now, this day and age, there's some really smart people in this country defensively. And if you keep the tempo at one tempo, they get pretty good at being able to defend that. Now, when you can vary the tempo and, and you can do some things like that to keep the chalk out of their hand last, that's that's really what we aim for. But I got to take my hat off to our team, Montel Cozart uh, and, and Rob Likens. Those guys did a tremendous job of really accomplishing a personal goal that I don't know that I spoke about, but I wanted to see happen, which is creating an identity for us offensively. I wanted to see that we were actually staying true to who we were and not just running a bunch of plays out there, that the things that we were doing, we had been practicing and we'd done them over and over again and we could become a little bit more efficient at it. And as the game wore on, we, we became more efficient at it. So that was good to see is that we improved as we went.